Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you. Victor, goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. Bags are still here. Bags. What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here, so I decided to hold off with making a video about this until we finally could get our hands on the open multiplayer beta of Uncharted 4 and hopefully also get a reply from Northrock about a little kind of issue that the hardcore Uncharted community has been bringing up for quite a while now. Uh, to quickly clue you in, if you didn't already know about the whole Harry Flynn situation, last December when we all played the closed multiplayer beta for Uncharted 4, of course the awesome thing was that Northrock brought back all of the characters from previous Uncharted games, from the villain to the main cast, uh, everybody was in there with their, with their like original authentic voices and that's really awesome because we as a hardcore community just totally appreciate that, right? So um, yeah, once again, all credit goes to them for that and I think it's a really nice, um, you know, kind of like a, a, a thing to do for the community, right? But of course, there was one voice that was missing in the whole cast and that was Harry Flynn. He did not have his original voice actor. There was a kind of like random new voice actor who did the lines for him. All the lines were super cheesy and I'm sorry to say it, but he just didn't do a good job whatsoever at uh, mim mimicking the friend voice and that got so many people to kind of like complain and be angry about this uh, you know in the forums and stuff and I get it look this is really an issue that um you will only see the real hardcore Uncharted community complain about, right? Because to the casual player, just a simple voice actor for a certain character or whatever, it really doesn't matter that much, right? Like, I totally see that myself as well. But at the same time, once again, for the hardcore community and for everybody who, you know, loves, for example, Uncharted 2, loves the Flynn character, uh, this is just kind of like, you know, a really stupid thing to see. And it got so many people, once again, asking Northrock about this, you know, kind of like their reasoning behind this whole situation. It also got them to ask Steve Valentine, the original voice actor of Flynn, on Twitter and stuff about it all. Had he been contacted and, and whatever, you know, all those kinds of things. Now, once again, to kind of like um, uh, uh, show you why this is such a big deal, the forum post about this issue actually, I think, has the most replies uh, compared to any other top topic on the current Uncharted 4. Uh, community forums. So it tells you how big of a deal this is to the Uncharted community in itself. I think it had over 400 replies and this has been going on for a really, really long time now. Now Northrock has promised that they would look into the situation, so it got us all, you know, hoping and, and thinking that yes, we would finally get an answer to this. Northrock would still, in the four months that they had left to finish the game, uh, arrange some kind of deal with the voice actor, get some lines recorded and stuff like that, simply to satisfy the Uncharted community, right? It would just be a really nice thing to do for everybody because there had been so many people complaining about this. Now, uh, today it actually was that we finally got a uh, reply from Arnie Meyer, the community manager at Naughty Dog, about the situation. And after a lot of... Um, kind of like back and forth, uh, I guess, arguing between, you know, Northrog and also be between Steve Valentine, the original voice actor, because he himself said that he hadn't been approached whatsoever and stuff. Arnie Meyer here said that, yeah, they had approached all the voice actors, and that, would, that of course, included Steve Valentine himself. They just couldn't manage to make a deal out of it, um, and that was pretty much it, you know, and that's where it kind of ended and stuff. Um, now, look, I'm not going to get into this whole debate, right? I'm not going to gonna uh, point fingers at people here and say, oh, it's Northrog dog's fault they definitely didn't have didn't uh, uh you know contact steve valentine and stuff like i'm gonna stay out of that that whole uh, uh you know debate kind of like is is gone for me like i don't i really don't care about it whatsoever what bothers me so much about this right is that there is a very simple solution to fixing the whole thing that doesn't even involve using lines from uh you know steve or new lines from steve valentine whatsoever the very simple solution is that you reuse the old lines that they recorded for steve from steve Valentine in Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 multiplayer. It really is that simple. And then, um, of course, you know, people have been bringing this up on the forums, right? It's like, why don't you just reuse the old character lines? And what Arnie Meyer simply said to that is, look, we didn't take this uh, situation lightly for sure. I've been uh, asking people at Northrog about this, if it could still be in there. But everybody pretty much told me, no, this is the way we're going to do it. Um, 
and the you know old uh, or sorry the new voice actors lines are going to be used and that's what pisses me off right because if you say you don't take it lightly then you shouldn't simply accept an answer like that and Arnie Meyer is a great guy you know awesome uh, community manager I guess at North Rock who I really respect and stuff and he you know does a great job at replying to the community but look if this is a topic that so many people so many fans from Uncharted like me myself I'm even a really big fan and this is a big deal to me as well let me make that very clear to you because Harry Flynn I think is an awesome character and it just sucks that in this final Uncharted game we have to play this multiplayer and listen to this weird guy talking about his bags of skill like come on it is seriously so annoying to me uh, because of how bad of a job he does and um, you know once again like I think it's great that he replies to the community but at the same time if you simply look at the demand you look at all the people complaining about this issue then something needs to be done about this and it really is as simple as using old character lines from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 multiplayer in this multiplayer for Uncharted 4. Now, what could the reasons be behind this? Of course, we don't know that. Uh, obviously, this new voice actor has been paid to do his uh, part and to do to record his lines and stuff, put that into the game. And I get it, you probably don't want to disrespect him to take that out. But at the same time, that voice actor himself also realizes he has been voicing a character that was already established by a different guy. So in that way, there should be no reason for him to complain about it because he knew that he was doing the lines for a character that already had a different voice actor behind them. Um at the same time, you know, he has simply been paid already, the money has been spent either way, so North Rock really is it that hard to replace the old character lines. Every single character in Uncharted 4 multiplayer simply says something based on a certain situation that happens in the multiplayer. All they need to do is take those old character sound files from Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2, replace those with the ones they have right now, and even in some situations you might have not record recorded something that really fits that situation, then you just leave it out, I don't care, just use the authentic voice. It is a big deal to the Uncharted community because we love Harry Flynn as a character and we don't want to see him voiced by this complete, sorry to say it, complete jackass in the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. And once again, I get it that it's not a big deal to probably quite some people out there, but at the same time, this is something that the Uncharted community, the hardcore Uncharted community has been asking for. For four months now, you've been ignoring the question all along. Now you finally come to us with a stupid reply saying, oh yeah, we've, you know, we've looked into it, but yeah, it's, it's just not not gonna you know it's not gonna gonna happen right that's what the people at North Rock told me Arnie said I really respect him he's a great guy once again but I think you could definitely look some more into this issue um, because it is it is as simple as simply replacing a couple of voice um, you know voice dialogue lines and everything by the old ones that you already used for Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 um, Anyway, you know, North Rock has three more weeks to, to pretty much finish this game. That's what it's looking to, uh, to be in terms of uh, the time period that they still have. They will finish the game by the end of this month. And really, this is not so much work. This is something that one guy could do within a single day, simply replacing the old character lines with the new ones. I don't care that you're not going to get Steve Valentine to record new lines. You know, I find it sad nonetheless, but whatever. It is what it is there. But there is a very simple solution to still make this happen. And once again, it is something that the die out Uncharted community would really really appreciate so that is kind of like my final talk about this of course you know let Northrog know how much how much of a deal this is to you tweet at people like Arnie Meyer maybe some people from multiplayer I'll include some Twitter handles in the description of course um, because yeah if you find this a big deal then you need to let Northrog know and you know I'll say it one more time but it's such a simple solution and you gotta un understand even though you might you know kind of maybe disrespect that new voice actor I think it is a very understandable situation and if you see so many people complain about it then it definitely should happen anyway that's my final say on it uh, i hope you kind of enjoyed the video of course leave a like if you agree and if you uh, enjoyed watching it and then for now thanks all for watching and hope to see you again next time